My name is uh, Troy Langworthy. Uh, Marcus Klein. Logan Ron. And uh, we're here with BCC doing a uh, flow tracker measurement at, on the uh, Shango River today. <laughs> Safety is always a big part of making a stream measurement. Uh, normally we always wear our, uh, our life jackets. Um, we always make sure the stream's not flowing too hard. We um, uh, Normally what we do, um, you, you, got, you find a section that's not too deep, not too uh, strong. Try to uh, watch your footing when crossing and um, if it's always if it is too dangerous, you can always find a different spot where it's a little little better, more easily suited for walking. A flow tracker works by dividing the river into subsections. For each subsection, it you get the width, the depth, and it calculates the velocity. Um, at the end, it adds up all the subsections to give you your total discharge. This is the waiting rod. It's used to hold the flow tracker at depths needed to make the measurement. This is a flow tracker. It uses acoustic Doppler to track the velocity of sediments in the water. It, uh, we use the two-point method um, and the one-point method. The one-point measures at six-tenths of the depth, and the two-point measures at two-tenths and eight-tenths of the depth. The flow tracker uses acoustic Doppler to track sediment in the water to calculate the velocity. Um, the flow tracker head has an acoustic transmitter and two acoustic receivers. Um, one thing you got to look out for when you're making a measurement is boundaries such as rocks. It's a good thing to keep the sample volume at least two inches away from it. The sample volume is located four inches from the acoustic transmitter. So this is a tagline, it's used to keep track of where you are throughout the profile of the stream. When you pick a place to measure, you want to make sure the flow is uniform throughout the stream. You want to make sure uh, there's no big boulders in the way. Um, other things you should look for is uh, angles of water. Make sure that it's all flowing fairly straight and right, perpendicular to your tagline. When making a flow tracker measurement, stand downstream off to the side of the wading rod. Make sure it's hold it, or held straight up and down and perpendicular to the tag line. All right, so we're gonna set location at our at the edge of bank for zero feet, and that's gonna be at 1.1 feet on our tag line. So we're gonna enter in 1.1 for location, and depth is at zero feet deep. And we're gonna go to next station. All right, our first uh, measurement is gonna be at two feet on the tag line. And to do that, we're going to enter our location at two feet. So set location, 2.0, enter. And then we're gonna find our depth, which is Um, this would be a foot, so we're going to do uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and then we'll be at about 0.67 feet. So we'll set our depth at 0.67. And then the last thing you need to do at a site when you measure is set the weighting rod. And um, there's numbers on the, the cylinder uh, rod that moves up and down, and you want to set that line to 0.67. After you have everything entered in in the flow tracker, which is your location, depth, and after you adjust the weighting rod, 
to your 0.6 depth because it's under a foot and a half. You uh, press measure and then you have to wait 40 seconds for the flow tracker to calculate the measurement. 40 seconds allows for the natural variance of uh, velocity of the stream and uh, averages it out. Today the stream we're, we're doing is under 1.5 feet, so we use the one point system for measuring, which means we set the flow tracker depth at 0.6 of the total depth. end of your section you type in your final edge and hit end section on the flow tracker and it will produce a total discharge measurement for the section you just measured. After you hook up the flow tracker to the computer and download the data from your measurement you can get different types of things like velocity, average, uh, mean depth, uh, your total discharge, average temperature, total width, total area, and you can view some of the things you can't on the flow tracker.